So hopefully, uh oh, no. All right, we got five thousand guys. If Wessex comes and helps us, then we could fight this off. Oh, he's not gonna help, brother. You're not gonna help. Oh, we were betrayed by our own family. Welcome to Andy's Game Vault. Today we are playing Crusader Kings 2, and we will be doing. The Viking Age, 867 AD. I'm going to set up a custom game. We're going to be playing as the House of Wessex. We're not going to be playing as the King of Wessex. We're actually going to play as his vassal, the Earl Alfred of Dorset, also known as Alfred the Great. He went on to become king and helped repel the Viking invasions. He was the grandfather of the first king of England. Alright, we're just going to play with all the standard rules. We're going to start the game. We're doing Iron Man setting. Alright, let's take a look at Alfred over here. He's actually a really good character. Got 21 martial, 18 diplomacy, 16 stewardship, 11 intrigue, and 10 learning. And we are currently at war. This is not an invasion of Wessex, but instead these are invasions of East Anglia and Northumbria. We're trying to stop the wars. We do, do not have much of a chance of success in these two wars. Uh, they have a large number of soldiers, but we'll do our best to support them. I'm actually going to raise my own soldiers right now and see what I can do to help. Let's go into the realms map over here. But before I get started, I'm going to pick a focus and we're going to do the war focus because we'll be fighting off these Viking invasions. Uh, more than just one. I'm also going to set an ambition right here and I'm going to build a war chest. That will help us to fight. Perhaps we'll need to hire mercenaries at some point if Wessex gets threatened or possibly we want to move against our brother over here who is the current king. Uh, we are currently his heir and he is unmarried. The prudent move would be to possibly try to assassinate him and we do have a good chance of success and we would inherit all his lands. I don't want to do that. I'm not going to play Alfred as that kind of character. He's going to be fairly loyal to his brother. I think um, there is a chance that I would uh, declare war against him and claim the throne, throne because I do actually have a strong claim on the Kingdom of Wessex. But I don't want to do that. I want to just play it out. Well, I might do that later on, but before that, we need to fight off. First, we need to fight off these Viking invasions. After these two wars, they might come after Wessex. They could go after Mercia, or they could come after Wessex. It, it all depends. And there could be, not necessarily from these guys, it could be others. There's other Viking threads out there as well. So, uh, I need to actually do one more thing before we start the, the game, and that is get married. I kind of like this uh, Princess of West Francia over here, Hildegard. We'll do that. And possibly get an alliance with West Francia, who's uh, pretty powerful right now. They have 5,000 soldiers. That's actually nothing compared to what these Vikings have. Let's go ahead and get <clears throat> our troops organized here. I'm going to try to not get my army wiped out. That's basically the goal of this war. Because you can look over here. They have, you know, 24k soldiers. I want to tr try and maybe sneak in here and lay siege to a city and get some money. Or just try to do some damage somewhere without getting completely wiped out. Alright. I could go for the prestige, but I'm going to go for the gold, because we might have to hire mercenaries in the future, and that gets expensive. Oh yeah, I need to go and get my... I'm going to actually collect taxes and train troops over here, just so that we can replenish all the troops that get lost in the if we get wiped out. And we'll do research cultural tech. I'm going to go send my spy over to Byzantium, which is the most technologically advanced county right now in, in the game. Uh, I don't know what if what I'm going to do with my counselor. 
I think I will have him... I'm not going to fabricate any claims. I'm just going to have him perform statecraft, I think. And that should be good enough. Boy, he is awful. Uh, could get this guy over here. He wouldn't like that, so we'll leave him on there. He's pretty awful. He's a genius, though. Wow. Man, as you can see, we're already losing a battle over here in Lindsay. Uh, that's the army, Mershon army. We gotta be careful here. I don't think me joining this battle would do any good. So I'm just gonna sit here in Oxford for now. And Wessex has quite a large force. I might be sticking with them for a while. Maybe I can help them. Where's he going? He's going over to Leicester. Alright, what does he want? He wants us to vote for what? Okay, he's going to owe us a favor, okay, if we vote with him on the council. But I don't know what he wants me to vote for. So he owes us a favor, but I'm not sure what he wants. I'm going to go over here to Hull. And uh, they're going to... So they're going to focus on East Anglica over here because that's their war score. And we've got... So we've got the, the two uh, sons of Lodebrook. And we've got King Ivar the Boneless. And we have uh, King Halfdan Whiteshirt. He's the Lord of York over here, and I'm just going to try to go after Hull and see if I can besiege the city without these armies coming down. He's in, involved up here. Okay, so we voted for absolute rule. I'm not sure what that law is, um, where that is. I'm not sure what absolute rule means, so I'm just going to continue. All right. Oh, he beat us to the siege. I think I'm going to try to go after Leeds instead. We've been invited to a feast, it looks like. No, we're in a war. <laughs> I can't go during the war. All right, good. We are in charge of the siege, so we should get the money if we win this. Okay, they approved that absolute rule, whatever that means. Take a look at this siege. I do not want to assault because I do not have enough guys for that. I could get temperate, which is actually pretty decent. Give me plus two stewardship, so nice. Nice. So our general over here has got 15 marshal, it's pretty good. And I can give him the trait infantry leader. So we'll go ahead and do that. Running the siege in bleeds, I don't see these guys budging. Man, they got a lot of troops. So hopefully, uh oh. No. All right, we got 5,000 guys. If Wessex comes and helps us, then we could fight this off because they are crossing a river to get to us. But he looks like he's sitting... Oh, he's not going to help. Brother, you're not going to help. Oh, how could us? We were betrayed by our own family. He'd rather sit here in York and let his brother's army just get wiped out. Oh, the betrayal. The betrayal. And now he's going to get wiped out. We could have formed up together. We could have fought together. Won an actual battle. But no. You just sat there in York and didn't come to our aid. I'm going to remember that. I'm going to remember that. I think, I don't think there's anything we can do here. Uh, I'm going to disband my armies and just go home. And looks like we have a negative 54% war score here, a negative 87% here. And uh, yeah, Ethelred's going to get wiped out. And we're still his heir. I was kind of hoping he <laughs> got killed or something because then I would inherit his lands. But that didn't happen. But we'll remember that betrayal. Maybe we should be the king and not Ethelred. Looks like he's forming up another army. But it's probably just going to get wiped out. Okay, so this war is over. East Anglia is now 
in control by the Vikings. We got King Ivar the Boneless. He has a lot of uh, territories now, including... I'm going to form an alliance with King Charles the Bald over here, since we married his daughter. That could definitely help. He has over 6,000 troops, so we'll do that. So I could owe, owe a favor to this bishop, and I'd gain 100 piety, or I would lose 50 piety, and then he doesn't like me. I'm just going to take the loss and wait. I only have 16 piety. I'm going to have to owe this guy a favor. Oh, I don't like that. But I didn't want to get negative piety. So I had to do that. Okay, this war is at 99%. I think after this war, I might try to get my independence. Okay, that war is over. Let's take a look at uh, King Ethelred over here. Uh, he only has 407 guys. I'm going to go ahead and just start a faction and say Earl Alfred for Wessex. Let's go. I don't think I have to wait. I can de make my demands right away. So we'll go ahead and do that. We'll probably have to go to war with my brother, but I'm going to remember where he didn't uh, help me out over here in Leeds. Where we could have won a battle and he just sat there in York. He's not as good as me. We're much better ruler. And so the kingdom will be better off if we're in charge. Okay, he's, he's not accepting that. So we're going to... We're going to have to fight our brother. Let's go ahead and raise our military. I don't think I need to get my vassals. I could call my allies to war, but he doesn't really have many troops. So I don't even need to do that. So let's go ahead and uh, let's fight against our brother. In the uh, actual history, uh, Ethelred died of his injuries in a battle against the Vikings, and Alfred became king that way. Uh, he never actually went to war against his brother or anything like that. They actually fought together against the Vikings, and then Ethelred died, and uh, Alfred became king. Even though uh, Ethelred did have some underage sons, but uh, it was decided that Alfred would become king because they were at war. So that's that's what happened. Okay, we're just going to besiege Wessex over here. We already got a uh, 21% war score. I'm not going to assault. I think the general rule with assaults is you want to have at least, well, close to 10x the number of men. So I would need like... 3,000, but I'd probably be okay with like 2,700 or something like that. Close to 10x is basically what you are what you want to do when before you assault. Otherwise, I'd lose way too many guys. We'll just go ahead and do it the slow way, starve them out. Alright, we won that and we got 12 gold. We're going to go after the bishopric next. Okay, we got some prisoners. I could wait till after the war, but I'm going to go ahead and ransom right now. Just get the money. Might impact my war score, but I don't care. And these other two are worth nothing, so... But at least got my 10 gold. Okay, we lost some troops, but that's okay. Alright, we got that, and got another 13 gold. Okay, we're gonna get Student of Strategy, giving us plus one marshal. That, that's really nice. So now we're up to 25 marshal. Wonder where, uh... He's sending all his troops out too. So we now have 36% war score. Yeah, we're just gonna take Southampton over here. All right, what's going on here? Oh, he's at war with uh, Ethelred. Is at defending against. He's trying to take Kent. I see. And. Uh, why is he attacking me? Ugh, these Vikings. And I have to fight this Viking invasion and I can't even leave. Well, I don't want my character to get killed, so I'm gonna not <laughs> leave the army. 
Sorry, army. You're just going to get wiped out. We're not even at war with each other. Well, we just lost eight prestige. Yuck. Oh, and he just wiped those guys out. Maybe now is a time to call in my allies. Yeah, let's go. Let's go, Charles the Bad. Help us out. I mean, Charles the Bald. Oh, he's in a war already, but he's winning. Charles the Bald. Yeah, come help us out. Okay, let's, uh... Ooh. We don't have any, hardly any soldiers left. They completely stack wiped our uh, army there. That's, uh... That's no good. I wonder if I could catch him. Can I catch him? Yeah, I can. So that is Ethelred himself leading the army. If we catch him and capture him, it's a low percentage chance of that happening, but if we can do that, I think I'm definitely going to get the flat terrain expert here because most of the Wessex is flat terrain, so we'll do that. Oh, we missed him. Uh, where'd he go? Okay, so it looks like... Uh, uh, they lost Kent over here, King Halfdan. So this is really fort <laughs> fortuitous to uh, King Halfdan over here because he has a truce now with Wessex. I mean with uh, Ethelred, but he doesn't have a truce with me. So when I win this, he'll be free to attack me, which uh, hopefully we can get help from our ally in that war. If I can get my ally to come over here. But he's still fighting in this war. He's got an 80% war score. So maybe he'll come over after his war is over. But we'll just slowly siege this. Because thankfully he doesn't have much levy. Alright, what do we got here? This is... Oh man, now he's defending against uh, Northumberland. Against... Uh, Half Dan. Wow. But looks like uh, we have an advantage. I want to. Oh, yeah. I want to make sure. I'm, I'm going to lead my troops in this battle for sure. So let's uh, do that. And get Alfred to be leading this one. We'll get some help over here. And we should win this battle because they got the river crossing. Although it's going to be, it's pretty close. Alright, uh, now we have to duel with this guy who's only got a 13 personal combat skill. We have a 33. Let's go ahead and try this. And. Okay, we won the duel. Now we can kill him, or we imprison him. I think I want to imprison him. He might have some money. So he's got 17 gold, so that is definitely worth imprisoning him. So nice, we won that, and we get some money. All right, we won a battle, so very nice. Although they only lost 29, or they lost 93 guys. We only lost 29, good. All right, our war score continues to drop because of we, we don't have any territories. Okay, good. We won that combat. Um, let's just continue to besiege another county. All right, looks like they are teaming up against us. So we've got 376, 337. Um, I can get my vassals involved, which is not really helpful. I wonder if I can hire a mercenary. We'll do this Saxon band, because I just don't want to lose here. It's going to cost us 10 gold per month, so we won't be able to... And they start off with zero morale. Let's... Uh, take control over this Saxon band. 
and hopefully the morale will improve quicker. Yeah, we're probably going to lose this battle for sure. Do I send my guys over now with such low morale? Um, no. I wait. I'll wait. Yeah, we lost another battle. That's okay. Are they... Okay, let's sit, send this group back. Well, let's group everybody together. And get back. And we have to start this siege over again, but this time we can assault. We have enough guys to assault. Alright, I want to try to go into Oxford. Oh, I can't take... Uh, but I definitely want to get up, go after King Ethelred over here. See if I can catch up with him. Wherever he's going. He's probably going into Essex. Okay, we'll wait to see who wins this battle, and then we'll fight the winner. Alright, maybe we can capture him. Did not get him. Let's, let's go back to Wessex. And we got to watch our money because we have those mercenaries costing us 10 gold per month. And we only earn like 6 gold, so we're at a negative 5 balance. But if we just keep taking cities every month, 18 gold. Let's see, this is, we're going to go up here to Oxford. Do I have anybody that I can ransom for 25 gold? We'll go ahead and do that. So we're now at a 55% war score. There's Ethelred just all, walking all by himself. Let's go ahead and just take him real quick. All right, good. My wife is pregnant. So, hopefully we can get an heir soon. All right, we took another territory. They got another castle here, the Baring Barony of Buckingham. Okay, so I can let my wife rest or have fun. Okay, let her rest and she'll get plus a bonus to health. So we'll do that. Uh, who is this? Um, what? So he's facing another Viking invasion. King Haston. The traitor. Why is he going up here to us? Uh, so if I win this war, I don't know if I'm going to be at war with him or not. How's uh, Charles doing in his wars? Okay, he's defending against a revolt. He's still fighting against West Francia. Yikes. Come on, brother. Accept the peace. Okay, let's get her some maids. Where loot costs us gold. So that's another Viking army. Why do the Vikings have so many armies at this time? Alright, we got another castle taken. Wow, looks like... Uh, Wessex is uh, putting up quite a defense. They must have some allies. Well, let's hope he wins this battle. Okay, I've got a daughter, Helga. Yeah, let's go with Helga, that's fine.
Yeah, how did he get all these armies suddenly? I'm not quite sure. Alright, well, he's coming to attack me. Not much I can do about it. So, I could take out uh, another duel here. Let's go ahead and go for it. And we got another prisoner. Nice. Okay, we've got another chance for personal combat. So, I managed to win. Very nice. But I'm going to lose the battle. Okay, um, he wants me to invest. No, let's go ahead and get the commander instead. We're about to lose this battle. Uh, let's go ahead and go with heavy infantry because we are better in heavy infantry. Let's just stay here for a little bit. Okay, he's coming after us now. I'm going to have to run into Cornwall to survive. Yeah, how does he have all these armies? So he's got all these armies of his allies from this war against uh, the Vikings. Oh man, and he's got enough guys that he can just assault our castles. Uh, let's raise everybody. Not fair. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and try to take Oxford again. Oh yeah, we can assault the one person in Oxford. And I think I'll do an assault. Wow, we're losing tons of money. Let's go ahead and assault here. And here. And yeah, well at least we have a river crossing. We're outnumbered. Four to one. And yeah, here we go, get wiped out again. I just don't know how he got all those troops. I'm going to disband my army right now. I lost my mercenaries. Uh, but I'm hoping that he focuses on this battle against the Vikings and wins the battle against the Vikings. And then he won't have any armies left. And I'll be able to take him out. Oh, well, you know what I need to do? I need to get my castle back. I need to get Somerset, Somerset back. Let's go ahead and retake Somerset. Yeah, hopefully I don't lose the war. And hopefully he wins that war and all his allies leave him. And then I can fight him alone. And where's Charles the Bald? in all this. He's uh, attacking a new war uh, not helping us out at all. He only has 2,000 guys left. Uh, do I... I don't think I can catch him. It's like I could try to take him out. Uh, how many troops does he have left? Um, did he win his other wars already? No, he's still fighting those other wars. Alright, I got to count. Oh yeah, my awful chancellor is gone, so that's good. Uh, 
Ah, here he comes. Back after me. Can I get out of here? Um, yeah, let's just retreat. Oh, man, why is he going after my hunk? Don't you have better other wars to to fight? Okay, wh what happened to his troops? Is he did he now win those wars? Okay, so he did. He won one of those wars. And he's winning this other war too. And this one. So I I don't see his big army anymore. So let's go ahead and take Somersault, Somerset back. Thankfully, we still have uh they have still have low morale. Wow, we can just barely, just barely have enough troops. But I have vassals um, to help me out. Let's go get my vassals. Wow. I'm going to abandon the siege and go after Ethelred himself. And see if I can capture him since he's leading this army. We won, but we didn't capture him. So I'm going to go ahead and go back. They only have 67 guys. Let's go take my counties back. Uh, I can split off my forces and just let's go ahead and uh, try to take out Ethelred in battle and capture him. Nope. Let's just go back here. Alright, let's get Somerset, Somerset back. Even though they have a ton of guys here. Okay, I got one county back. I gotta take the city back next. Okay, I have a chance to get help Helga get some traits and also get kind for myself I don't know if I really want kind actually it's not too bad minus five personal combat skill I don't really like that but it's only 30 percent chance I'm gonna go for it ah unfortunate I lost my combat skill okay I'm gonna just quickly go in here get more armies um, what happens if I Disband, disband. No, it's the same. Okay, gonna send my guys out to Wessex. Alright, looks like my ally died. And I don't have an ally anymore. Uh, what's happening? We just got invaded. But we're gonna win. Okay, looks like somehow he managed to get a thousand troops. Again, just out of nowhere. Uh, how did he get so many troops so quickly? Oh, he hired mercenaries. Okay. Okay. Well, they have twice our numbers. Where's he heading? He's going to Wiltshire. Uh, let's get out of here. go into Cornwall. Oh, okay. Well, half his army disappeared and we're going to try to attack him in Dorset. Okay, uh, we do have a chance of winning that. We're only outnumbered a little bit. But I think our martial skills better, better, so we should win. Nice, nice. Back down to a zero war score. Let's go back to Wessex. Okay, I can get a monument, which would be nice, but uh, I need the money right now, unfortunately. Okay, another facing... Why am I fighting all of uh, Ethelred's enemy for him? Um, but I should win this. They've got the river crossing. Okay, another victory. Getting more prestige. Now we don't have enough guys to even do the siege. We can get another 47 troops. Uh, 
That might put us over the edge. But you know what? I'd rather fight him in combat here. He's besieging our city. And so I'm going to go fight again. And then we probably won't have enough troops to defend, to besiege Wessex now. How many defenders they have? Yeah, we don't have enough. Uh, let's just try to chase down his armies. Maybe we can capture him. Siege Oxford because I don't have enough troops in Wessex to besiege Wessex. I'm at a negative one percent war score even though I've won so many victories. But he's got the he controls Wessex. Oh man, they, they just raided my camps and took out over a hundred guys. Wow. Yeah, my wife is costing me a lot of gold. Alright. Well, let's finish Oxford off first and then go after him. Ah, we got raided again. Okay, we got a little bit of gold. Let's go ahead and hit him in Bath over here. Even though he outnumbers us. I think we still can win. Let's send our levies out. No. Their mor low morale is not going to help at all. I think we can win. Okay, we have a son. I'm going to name him Edward, which was Alfred's actual son. Okay, go back to Oxford. And now we don't have enough troops. Let's go and try to... Let's just uh, disband my troops. Or should I just keep on fighting? Yeah, let's just keep on fighting. I want to keep his army small. Okay, we got a river crossing. Any way to get into Oxford without crossing a river? Uh, no. No way to get in there, so we'll just have to do the river crossing. We should still win. That gave us a little bit of war score. But we can't besiege any of his, uh, settlements, so... I think I will this time just disband my army and wait a little bit let our troops recover when we get a little bit of money we can hire mercenaries and uh, finish this war off once and for all but he did a good job defending against a lot of the uh, invasions Viking invasions there's still uh, Cumberland but he's winning that okay he does have enough troops to besiege our city over there. Uh, let's go ahead and train. Oh, this guy's really bad. What would I learn from training with someone so bad? Oh well. Well, you know what? I have 684 guys. I am gonna. I'm not gonna raise the uh, mercenaries just yet. But I am gonna go ahead and fight, and I should be able to. I have enough guys now to besiege Wessex. So. Go ahead and do that. Should be able to take Wessex. 
do have quite a big garrison. Okay, look at that. He is in the army now. Let's go ahead and fight him. There's always a chance of capturing their leader. So, I'm going to take it. Okay, we just killed Ethelred. Unfortunately, he does have an heir. Uh, so, we're not going to inherit his kingdom. Like, if that would have happened earlier in the game, we would have taken his kingdom. Because we were the heir originally. But now it's uh, Ethelweald. So we're going to go ahead and try to take Wessex. Alright, we're getting more... Oh, we got another negative event. We lost 100 guys and now we don't even have enough. But I do have some vassals. So we can get over here and get the vassals. I may have to hire mercenaries. But... We now have enough. Let's go. Alright, my wife is pregnant again. Good. We got besieged again. We got raided again and lost more guys. So, looks like... Uh... Oh, and we just lost our just trait. Oh, no. So we got raided again, we lost our just trait, and now I do have to go and hire mercenaries. So I'm going to go in here and hire the guys, the cheapest army that has the lowest cost, which is the Saxon band. Let's go ahead and get them. And hopefully we don't run out of money, which should be okay. We have 150 gold, that should last us over a year. And now we'll definitely have enough troops, but we don't have enough for an assault. We need 5,000 for that. Okay, I could get charitable, which hurts my... I'm sure she'll be fine. Because I don't want to... Do I already have charitable? No, I don't have charitable. I don't want charitable. I don't want to hurt my personal combat skill. Yeah, we keep getting bandits raiding our camps. Just all this... All these bad events keep happening to me in this game. Okay, we are up to 75% war score, so... Looks like we should be able to win this and become king. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and let him hire some ruffians. Even though we have the local revolt risk. Let's just get the money. We'll go with Alfseek. For our second son. Alright, victory. And disease, again. Negative events. I'm going to help my nephew out and this uh, army over here. Alright, I'm going to go up to Oxford then and uh, besiege Oxford. Yeah, and I forgot to select a focus for... Uh, Edward over here. I'm going to go with Struggle and and I think for my daughter I'll go and set her focus too and I don't know. Um, let's just do um, Humility. Alright, let's take Oxford, get the money. We're at 95% war score. Of course we're getting bandits and disease. Like all the negative events, we're just getting them nonstop. All right, 98% war score. Let's just go ahead and finish him off over here. Uh, he's going to Oxford. Let's get him. Let's just chase down his army wherever he's going. Let's just get him. Yeah, he's. Uh, we're not gonna let him. He's faster than us for some reason. Let's go. That should give us the 2%. Yep. And this war is over.
Okay, very interesting that uh, these other this duchy is not part of the Kingdom of Wessex. So we are now independent, and I don't think I have any claims. Um, he's in our prison. I don't think I have any claims on this territory. So far we've done pretty well. We got our independence and we got the Kingdom of Wessex and we haven't been totally overrun by Vikings. With that, I'm going to put a cut in it here. Thanks for watching. Bye.